And local boys Otago will take on Manawatu. Here is the Manawatu team list. Adrian Curry there in Jersey 2. Carl Bryson, so important. Kuroi, who we saw in the last game yesterday, looking very sharp. Thompson and Masarewa. Mitch Crosswell back in the starting lineup. Smith rounding out the first seven. Now Puri and Curry, two to watch on the bench, along with Casey Stone, who grabbed a hat trick in one of his outings yesterday. Paul Claridge, the coach, a happy man after yesterday's performances. The Otago side saved their best for last. Paul Grant, impressive. Little Brad Weber out of the Sharks Club. A good man to have. And Joe Hill, too. Nine and ten running the show. Marshall Suckling, and of course, happy feet himself. Buxton Popoali. Adrian Curry took it into contact. He'll be penalised. Here's Brad Weber. And Weber gets a cheeky one to start the scoring for Otago. Well, if you sleep on this guy, do it to your peril. They turn their back, they went back with any urgency. Wu Mana with two. And they get punished by that guy on screen. Brad Weber already been involved heavily as the turnover. And it was a good one over the top. Number 20, Moffat. And he's the one there, fix it. Just not there, they're a step behind the supporting players. Just watch, never back 10, they can't touch him. No one in front, good recognition there by Weber. Just to calm things down, the boys are in a knockout game, they know it. They've just gone away from the structure that was so successful for them yesterday. Here's Popo Ali again, Paul Grant's on his left shoulder. Stays there, Buxton, nothing wrong with him. Sets up the pass, it'll be suckling on the outside. He needs to back himself for the corner, he does. And Otago. Living off Manawatu's mistakes have got a double. Well, you're going to give class players such as Buxton Popoli'i, who was in New Zealand set up last year, was a star at the Wellington Sevens in 2011. He's proving to be a star here at the National Sevens in Queenstown for 2012. Watch, watch him here, just been knocked out. Two right, third right foot step, and then the vision. The quick little pass, he always had the numbers on the outside. And Manawatu getting pinged for their ill discipline. Otago, it's all theirs at the moment, Brad Weber had to back himself, man inside was covered, skipper Paul Grant once again in good support, takes the ball away from Brad Cameron, another of Otago's big men, it's down on the ground now, release is called, Weber has it, great ball from the deck from Brad Weber to Joe Hill, Joe Hill, right through the gap, well give a point to Weber and Joe Hill to finish, Outstanding. And again, Sumo, we see a defender turning his back. Joe Hill was brilliant for Otago yesterday. It was amongst everything. Trying to copy his inside partner, Buster Pupoli, with a step, holding the ball in two hands. It's a great pass. The distribution out the back. We just watched Joe Hill ball in two hands, little step. Defense is turned. Masada will not be happy with that. That's just two weeks of that close to the line. I've got to say, the Otago team was very slick in this first half. They haven't had as much sevens tournaments as some of the North Island sides. Uh, their coach Roy Hawker has had them training in the sand on the beach to get their fitness up, and they are looking good. Both Jones. The key well, is he didn't get pulled up for it, so there. Yeah, but illustrates a point, though, doesn't it? Batters up over the halfway line, suckling, had to reach out for it. Had to stay there and played half back. Papu Ali now, here's Weber. I like this kid. All four foot eight of him. And away he goes again, Brad Weber. Coach told him to stand up, he stood up all right. Even though he looks like he's sitting down. Oh, brilliant. Heeding the call of his coach, Roy Walker, was Weber. So it is your turn to have a go, son, and exactly what he did. He backed himself right from the get-go. This Otago team have grown into this tournament. They seized an opportunity in front of their home crowd to get into a semi-final. That's what they're doing. They're backing themselves. Pretty average defence here for Manawa too. Arm flink, losing his feet. Gallion effort there in the end by Casey Stone, but Weber too good, Melody. Mate, he's just got uh, great balance, good change of direction, and he's fast, and he's skinny, so they can't even get a finger on him. Good presence of mind too, he knew exactly where he was in relation to the goal. Engage! Nick Collins this morning said, yeah, a couple of games earlier than we would have liked, but it's given all these other teams hope, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. it's opened up also not exactly right. Matt Batters away to Buxton Popoali, he's had a great game. Kick ahead, mate, for Suckling, and Suckling picks it up, and 
full speed, gets a bend on as well, and what a try! Set up by Papali, finished by that man Marshall Suckling. Oh, it's amazing what confidence does to a team, and that's what Otago are riding at the moment. It's a tsunami for them, and that guy's leading the charge. Buxton, Popo Lee, he's not doing it with a set step. If he's not setting it up, he's kicking it. Let's watch him right here. It'll be a great replay. Sums up the situation. The sweep is too deep for Mano 2. Carl Bryce and tries to get across. Pinpoint accuracy. Great pick up and a bend. You won't get much better at international sevens rugby than that. Mate, this is a Benji Marshall kick, that, on the outside of his foot. Perfectly weighted. Even ran the other way after he did it because he knew he was so good.